We've heard the uh, the spirited defense already quite a bit in these OTAs, and the offensive players talking about it being annoying, and but it, it's intimidating in the same point. As one of the voices, TJ Edwards said, you're one of the voices of that defense. Yeah. What do you appreciate about having that kind of spirit and the celebrations and all the talk that goes on? What I appreciate is um, that is every single day. Um, that's consistent. That you know, guys are coming in. Um, every single day, you know, just grinding, you know, bringing that energy. But that energy is coming with um, guys making plays. It's not just, you know, fake energy or anything like that. It, it's consistent. And, you know, um, er everybody feeds off that, especially the offense. You could just tell, you know, coaches do also. You know, coaches on the sideline, you know, getting turned up and things like that. So um, it's definitely big. Looks like the offense adapted your um, celebration. Yeah, try to try to do it today, yeah. <laughs> How, do you like them to give it back to you? Like, what do you think that that shows the defense? I don't know if it's like getting in their head or you know preparing Caleb for what he's going to see this fall. But the back and forth, what does that do for you guys? Yeah, just show that um, they're not going to back down. You know, um, they're going you know do some you know show building too. You know, things like that. Try to you know get in our heads or you know whatever it may be. But um, just showing that they let it compete too, and which we like. You know, we want fire. You know, out of them. You know, that's what we need. So um, just you know them, them guys are creating chemistry. You could tell. You know, they're joking around, things like that. So you know, having fun. You know, that's what they're really doing. So it's good. It's a good sign. Yet, what is different about working with Kevin Byer as opposed to working with Eddie Jackson? Oh, uh, really? This year with um, KB, we've been playing a lot, you no know, left and right. Um, I'll say that's different. And um, really, you know, those guys are both great players. You know, um, really, no drop off. Um, but that, that's the, really the difference. You know, they're playing left and right. And then, you know, KB has a lot of, you know, football IQ, a lot of, you know, veteran football IQ that, you know, he has brought to the team, a lot of leadership. You know, he's very vocal and things like that. So it's, it's been good. Did he have some influence in that, from playing left and right? Because when he talked to us first, he kind of said he doesn't like the idea that you, know, you have to be in one spot, strong safety or free safety, and that you guys can, I don't know, play positionless safety. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, uh, us both, you know, we've been playing, you know, safe, free and, you know, strong safety, you know, all of our careers. You know, even while I was in college, high school, I've always been moving around. So um, just playing left and right, you know, the quarterback can't really, you know, sense, you know, where we're going to be, um, really know what deep we're in. So it just gives a different look, um, really don't know what's going on out there. So I'll say, you know, it's definitely good to um, have a little switch up. Quinn, when the, when the, in practice, when the offense goes against, defense goes against the offense, you always hear the cliche, iron sharpens iron. Do you get the impression this year, maybe more so, that you're actually facing iron when, with the receivers yes. and the, the new quarterback in, in this offense? Yes, I do. Um, you know, there's talent everywhere, uh, from the receivers to the tight ends to the running backs, and um, you can see it out there, you know, from the, from the ones to the twos to the threes. And um, we're competing, we're, you know, talking a lot of, you know, smack to each other and things like that. And, um, you know, there's competition out there. You know, now that everybody's here, um, iron's going to sharpen iron every single day, as you've seen out there today. Is it too early to tell that they're actually giving you more resistance than, than maybe you faced before when you faced this offense? Yeah, it's definitely um, too early to tell because we're not in pads or anything like that. And, um, you know, 707 and, um, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, it's kind of um, early to tell, but we're still out there competing and, you know, still, you know, doing things like that. But when we're doing one-on-ones and start, you're going to start seeing, you know, more, you know, competition reps, I'll say. With the improvement breakthroughs you guys made as a defense at the end of last year, what, what's the next step in your mind for this defense? Next step is, um, you know, putting it all together consistently for, you know, 21, you know, 22 straight weeks, um, you know, being healthy. You know, for the first half, you know, that was big. Last year, we weren't healthy in the first half, and it showed um, we got back, you know, a little too late. Um, but we started, you know, getting that chemistry going and you see what the defense is like when we're out there healthy. So I think that's the, you know, the big thing is, you know, being out, out there healthy in the first half and then finishing you know, for the back end, you know, cause the back end, we all want to be in the playoffs and we all know the main goal. Kyler mentioned the, the goal for 20 interceptions and 20 fumble recoveries. What, what was the first you heard of that this spring as something that you guys were going to put as a benchmark? That was the first I heard of it. Really was, um, Coach Flutes probably said it, he said it last year for sure, but this year on um, the first slide, they put it up there. Um, and, you know, as a defense, that's what we, you know, going to do is create turnovers and we're going to create a lot of turn turnovers, especially with the rush that we have. 
So, um, you know, I feel like that's, you know, been big. And especially him putting, it, you know, the detail like that makes it more easier for us. Well, there's been a lot of talk about the defense trying to challenge and confuse Caleb early on just to prepare him for what he's going to see. What have you learned about him and how he's responded to what you guys have presented? That um, you could tell he has some in his notebook every single day. You know, he's really focused and locked in on you know his tools, you know his technique, and um, he doesn't you know let the outside noise affect him, which is good. Um, he comes in every day and um, works very hard, and um, you could tell he's going through his, going through his progressions and things like that. And um, you know he's going through the right weeds, and every single day is becoming quicker. So um, he's catching up on a lot of things. But also, you know, we're always going to give him you know different looks, you know things like that. That's what we're going to do to every quarterback. And um, we're going to make it tough. You know, they're not going to know what we're going to do, where we're do- where we're going to be. And especially like I said earlier, with you know me and KB playing left and right, it's going hard. It's going to be hard to you know know what coverage we're in. So um, I feel like he's doing a great job though. And told us that I think it was after one of the OT, like earlier OTAs that it was a rough day for the offense. He went up to Caleb and said, like, you know, keep going. We've got you. Just kind of some words of encouragement. Yeah. Have you, just from like how he's tr- ob- like pretty obviously tried to test the secondary, try to see what he can get away with. Have you given him any pointers of <laughs> hey, like maybe any tells that he's giving you that will help him when he's going against another defense? Um, to be honest, I've really just been you know locking in on myself. Um. No, obviously we're gonna have that back and forth with the competition stuff, but I really haven't really got to talk to him about um certain throws or anything like that. You know, just yet. You know, um maybe a little later, but really just been, you know, trying to focus on my techniques and things like that. But um yeah. Could you move around the field a little bit more? Do you think there's a part of your game we haven't seen that you might have the opportunity to show now? Mm-hmm. I feel like um you know, the Bears haven't got the best version of me yet. And I feel like it's gonna happen this year. Um you know, just, you know, having me move left and right, but having us both move left and right is going to be good for, you know, the both of us. We get the best best of both worlds, which is good. And, um, you know, it's just going to show a lot what I could do in the back end. You know, I free safety, you know, how my range, you know, obviously you guys see it out there, but you're going to see a lot more this year. Um, my range, um, how I could, you know, make more plays on the ball. And then the box and stuff, that's easy. That's the easy part. Um, so, yeah. Oh, we've heard a lot about the confidence of this defense, you guys. Everybody's come up here has talked about the, the excitement you guys have as a group. What would define success for you guys as a defense? What's the ultimate benchmark for you? Really just being number one, um, top five in a lot of you know categories, especially the pass and the run. Um, you know, um, getting those turnovers you know, is very important for us. But just having a complete defense. Um, you look at the great defense like Baltimore Ravens, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you could, go, you could name them. Um, you know, Tampa Bay, you know, Buccaneers, you know, Chicago Bears. Um, you can, you can, you know, name so many defenses and their, their success has been, you know, creating turnovers, um, you know, keeping it, you know, playing all together and, um, you know, being top five and, you know, autumn statistics. Jaquan, 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 Jaquan in the last year, since this time last year, guys got it sweat, fired, mm-hmm. Caleb, Keenan Allen, um, Jaquan Barkley, you guys have seen all these guys. Yeah. What's that done to change? Um, your outlook for what the season could be and your excitement level that you guys might be on to something special here? Yeah, it's exciting because um, you look at every position group and we're talented, you know, we're great everywhere. And um, all we got to do is just really put it together. So I'm um, just looking forward and, you know, the draft picks that we, you know, brought in, the players that we added. Um, it looked like, you know, we could be a very dangerous team on paper, but um, we got to put it together, you know, um, you know, in person, you know, I don't want to be in the woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know, like we, we've been, you know, these last couple of years. We should have been 12 and 5. We should have been, we just got to put it, you know, all, you know, all, you know, move forward, you know, just lock in and um, just do what we got to do this year. Do you feel like you've just given what the, you were part of the two teams, you know, from the start of this rebuild? Do you feel like you guys are at, almost at the other side of it now with, as Pat was saying, as much talent? For sure. Been? We definitely, you know, by now should be on the other side. You know, mm-hmm. we're, Shouldn't be waiting no more. It's time to win now. No, our time is now, you know, for sure. You know, I don't want to be talking, you know, talking about it, you know, too much or anything like that. But, you know, we're going to get it done this year. You know, we brought in, you know, Caleb, you know, Duze and them guys and, you know, KB. And, you know, we're going to get it done. So, yeah, the time is this year. No more waiting. So. Well, you mentioned the things, different things you could do in this defense now that you're in the third year. But, yeah, you've established yourself pretty well in the first two years, but what's what's next for you? What what's the what's the next step for you relative in, with your standing relative to the team and relative to, to the league? Yep. Um my next step is just showing you know what I could do. Um and that's in the front end and the back end. You know, creating turnovers, um, creating you know, more forced fumbles. You know, I'll show what I could do in the box, but now it's time for me to show what I could do playing free safety also and um 
really just putting it all together and having the best version of me, you know, being healthy also. That's a big thing for me, just being healthy. Once I'm healthy, everything else is going to you know, be easy. So. Well, you've always embraced your role as a leader on the team. How have you kind of maybe stepped it up this offseason with a couple of important voices to keep it out? Um, really just stepping up just by, um, you know, talking to younger guys just about, you know, their bodies and things like that. I feel like I've always been a, a leader and things like that, but now it's time to, you know, be smart because uh, we want everybody to be out there. So just make sure, you know, guys are, you know, always in the tubs and things like that. You know, we're all just make sure we're all good because um, we need everybody out there. Like, we need every single body, as y'all seen. Um, it, it affects us when we're not all out there. And, um, you know, we need to be out there at all times and just make sure, you know, the offense, especially, you know, hear my voice all the time, make sure I'm talking to everybody, whether, you know, it's on the field or whether, you know, it's just walking, you know, out there. I always talk to everybody, but just make sure, you know, I'm having more, even more conversation, you know what I mean? Just things like that. So just taking time, you know, with the guys. I'll say that's how I stepped up. In your time here, what do you appreciate about Jalen, whether it's his play on the field, his presence, what, what, whatever it is, what, what is the best impression on your body? That he's the same guy every single day. We're gonna get the same guy every single day. You know, he works hard. You know, um, you know, he comes in day in day out, and he takes his job serious. You know, his technique, and you can just tell. You know, out there, you know, his technique. He's he's always on point. He's always making plays, and then you know, he's he's just being Jalen. You know, we know what we're gonna get out of him every single day, and that's why I appreciate. And then um, even now, you know, he's working even harder. You you can tell. Like he's not letting anything get to him, which I like. And, um, you know, he has a chip on his shoulder. You know, he wants to be the best, and he don't want no comparisons, and that's what I like. Jacon, what have been your impressions of Eric Washington? What has he, what has he brought to the defensive coaching staff? Um, his communication. You know, when he steps into the meeting room, you know, all eyes are on him, and that's what I like. Um, you know, it's, it's his meeting room, and um, his chest is out and things like that. So I, li I like, you know, how he took his shoulder room. I like that. You know, he's being himself. He's not being no one else. Juan, do you feel more pressure this season to hit the ground running uh, defensively 100%, having a rookie quarterback on the other side, knowing that he may need some time to adjust to what the NFL defense is bringing his way? I really don't feel like it's too much pressure. You know, I feel like the pressure should always be on us. You know, defense win championships. And, um, you know, obviously we, we have the rookie quarterback this year, but um, the pressure is always on us. You know, it, it has been last year, you know, every other year. It's always on the defense. And, um even more now, um, but we're going to step up to the plate. Um, hopefully this year, you know, we really don't need the offense. We should be able to score on defense. That's how, you know, I wanted to be. Not really worry about, you know, what the offense is doing. We're not going to complain. You know, whatever happens over there happens, but, you know, the defense, you know, we're going to um, have big shoulders and you know, we're going to take it, you know, we're going to take it all this year. So that's that's how we're going to feel. That's how we feel. What's going on? A lot of the guys have talked about how this defense is intimidating. Um, Keenan Allen used the word annoying. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of just been the culture that's been established. How would you, what do you appreciate about this defense's attitude and the kind of the culture that's been set here? Yeah, I think, um, no, we're definitely pretty annoying for sure, especially uh, to the offense. But, um, you know, I think we, we just like having fun. You know, we're out there, uh, finally got everyone together this week and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, even just with Taz coming back, you know, he's going to talk as soon as he gets there. So, um, we, we just have a lot of fun and love to compete. And, um, but they were, they were giving it back to, so it was, it was a good time. TJ, what ways do you feel the carryover from the way you guys finished last season now that you're back on the field together? Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's something that we've, you know, now we've, we've seen it on tape and, and things like that. But, um, again, man, I think that's the, the great thing about football is, you know, you got to show up and um, not be, you know, if you were good, you got to, you know, continue to be good, but you got to be great every single year. Um, and we know we have a bunch of challenges coming up, starting with camp, and um, you know, we got to continue to work and continue to just come together with, you know, new pieces that we're bringing in with drafting guys and um, things like that. But I think overall, man, I think we're we're in a really good place and just ready to um, take this little breather here and then come back and hit the ground running. This time last year, there was a lot more uncertainty about your roster and about kind of. Yeah. Like the team on the What's it feel like to go into your break now knowing that, that, that you're stacked differently this year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's nice to have that familiarity for sure. You know, coming back um, again, running the you know same type of scheme and um, kind of having the confidence within that. Um, and I think, you know, just for us, you know, chemistry in football is such a big thing, you know, knowing how certain guys are going to play and certain guys are going to fit and um, even just how they are in terms of how you, you know, um, communicate with one another. So it's all those things that they really, really help us a lot. And, you know, as you say, in the NFL, you continue to add pieces and we'll, I'm sure, continue to do that and see what happens. But 
Um, man, I'm, I'm excited for where we're at, for sure. Guys like Byron and Sweat, in addition to the mm -hmm. offensive pieces, does it feel like the expectation has been raised yeah. for the team in general? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I think it's, you know, just with the guys we brought in, um, for sure. I mean, I think having KB back there, a guy who's played, played at a really high level for a long time, you know, understanding the game, it helps um, our back end, helps helps us backers for sure. And um, But just having all those guys in, in every room is, is really good for everybody. All those, uh, all, all young guys, man. I remember when I was young, like, you need that uh, that vet in there to kind of show you how you're supposed to do it. Um, and I think we've, we've got a really good roster with that. Luce is telling us about giving everybody individual responsibility over the summer to make sure you do the right thing, yeah. come back ready to go for training camp. What does that mean to you? What does that look like for you over the summer? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, you know, I think every guy has their routine. Um, but for me, it's, you know, it's coming back one in the best shape of your life, um, especially here. You know, we're going we're gonna to work and we're going to run. Um, no matter what, so that's that's something you got to stay on top of. And I think, you know, mental is something that I've I've noticed has helped me a lot. You know, these um, as I've gotten um, older and stuff in, in this league, I've I've noticed that giving your mind a break from this for a second is something you have to do to kind of, you know, regain you know relationships and just do things that um, you need. So when you come back for the season, you can kind of focus on what you need to focus on. TJ, Kevin, Kevin and Jay Winnipeg talked about you guys trying to confuse and challenge Caleb. What have you learned about Caleb as you guys have tried to push him? And and show him everything he needs to know. Yeah, um, I mean, I think we're, you know, we started right off the gate. And, you know, last year coming in, I think we we're still trying to understand the scheme a little bit, so it was a little more stagnant. But I think this year we started off with a bunch of disguise and a bunch of movement and things like that to um, you know, see what we can do. But I thought, you know, from day one, he's gotten better with it. Um, you definitely see some things that you don't really expect from a rookie to do. You know, he, he moved us a couple times uh, with his eyes um, the first day. Had had me and Tremaine hot about it, but um, <laughs> it was, uh, you know, he's, he's impressed us for sure. And I, he's just like everybody. You know, he wants to continue to get better, and I think he's, he's handled it well for sure. Did you coach said that you guys have you know, one day of practices with the Bengals in August. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the value of, even if it's just for one day, mm -hmm. of having that in August to, to kind of get yourself ramped up? Yeah, I mean, those are always good tests, right? It's like, especially those joint practices, man, they feel like games. You know, it's like um, you're kind of trying to see where you're at and stack up, and that's obviously a really good football team for sure. So um, we're excited about it. It's, it's nice not having to travel too now that it's here. That's that's big time, but um, it'll be good. All, the, all that work is just is beneficial for the year, truly. TJ, how, how have you seen Caleb kind of balance? He's the quarterback, supposed to be mm -hmm. the team, but he's also one of the youngest guys in the building, still getting to know everything. And how, as a veteran, as a leader, yeah. how have, you, have you talked to him about that at all? Have you kind of observed that? I think just, you know, observing kind of how he carries himself, you know, you can tell he's confident in, in what he's doing. And, you know, as a as a um, defender, you know, you want that guy to be confident. That guy, you know, especially who's leading your team, you know, he's, he's our quarterback and um, we're behind him. But I think he's, again, just handled everything so well. You know, I think he's he's himself. And that's kind of that's kind of all you want, to be honest with you. You want you want every single guy just to be themselves and um, but also respect, you know, the standard of what we're trying to do things here. Caleb said it was back at rookie mini camp. Yeah. I think someone asked him just about establishing his leadership style. Mm -hmm. He said for a while he was going to listen first before doing anything to kind of get a feel for all. You know, there's a lot of veterans here. When did you notice maybe a switch from where he went from comfortable being listening to starting to establish his leadership with this group? Um, I guess I wouldn't really, you know, know like a, a certain time. I just think, you know, from day one, I felt like he's been himself. Um, and, you know, before every seven on period, we're over there like talking crap to him, like seeing kind of how the period's going to go and stuff like that. And he's responded, man. So that's, that's kind of all you, you want. You know, you want, um, someone who's confident and someone who also plays within themselves and, um, you know, acts within themselves. And I think that's, that's what he is for sure. They're kind of, I don't know, maybe like a point to rattle him, but like, I mean, it was, uh, I think DeMarcus was grittying by the huddle, the offensive yeah. huddle the other day. Like, is there something that, as a defense, you try to just kind of see how he's going to respond to maybe some of the extra stuff that he might get in a game at some point? Yeah, like I said, I mean, we've been doing a lot of seven-on-seven seven and stuff like that where the D-line can't really rush, so I think they're big thing this uh, camp has just kind of been annoying, to be honest, and kind of messing with them a little bit. Um, but I think, you know, all that stuff is just good is good for, for him to see, I'm sure. You know, it's, again, we're, he's, he's our teammate. We want to kind of make it as tough as we can because not only are we going to get better from that, but they will too. Um, and that'll, that'll help for, during the year, for sure. Is, as you guys kind of establish this identity of being a, a defense, it turns the volume up. Like, yeah. who are the voices that you hear the most around you chirping and barking? And <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, 
Tez and um, D Walk for sure. You know, are are big into that. Um, brisk, Brisk will get going a little bit, um, and then me and Maine just kind of fill in when we need to. But it's it's hard to get a word in sometimes with those two up there. So, uh, but no, we're just having fun, excited to be around each other, and um, you know, we just love to play the game for sure. You value in that when it, when a defense has that that sort of boisterous presence about it. I, I think so. You know, I think um, as long as you back it up, right? I think you know all that stuff is good, but we also understand what our job is and what um, what we need to get done. Um, but as long as we can kind of keep things light, especially during this time, um, get guys ready to come back, get guys excited to come back, I think that's that's huge. TJ, this is the second year we've seen y'all at uh, practice and stuff like that, John, with the offense. You guys like this on Sunday, on game days, are y'all going at the opposing teams, same fire, maybe a little bit more even? Um, I mean, I think I think that's football, right? I think there's so much that happens in between the lines. Um you know, for me, like I'm, I'm whatever. You know, I don't, I don't really have enough energy for that, to be honest with you. Unless, you know, I'm too, I'm too tired. We're getting ready for the next play. Um, but I think that's, that's football. That's, that's why you love the game, to be honest with you. Is that kind of competitive edge and um, just seeing, seeing what happens out there. And I think, you know, I think everyone does in the league. I think you guys are just seeing a little bit more of it uh, as of right now, for sure. Coming off a really good season, do you have any personal goals for yourself in uh, 2024? Um, I mean, I think, you know, takeaways in this league is everything. Um, so continuing to do that, but man, I, I think all my, all my personal goals are honestly just related to what we do as a team. You know, I want to, I want to get back to that big one. I want to, you know, I want to win, you know, first and foremost, but, um, I do know at the linebacker position, man, the good ones, you know, the ones who are there year in and year out do it consistently, right? They have good, great years consistently. Um, so I think I've, I've put a couple together, but I'm ready to keep uh, stacking and try to add on to that for sure. Thanks, Appreciate you guys.